What's going on you guys? I wanted to make an updated video on measurements on your LC broth. Um, kind of been playing with it a little bit and I think I finally found the ultimate super duper Blano liquid culture recipe. And here, we're going to go ahead and dive right on into it. How about it? So we're going to put our jar on the scale and we're going to tear that and we are going to start out with caro and we are doing a pint jar and if you're going to do a quart jar just double the measurements in the water and we are going to put six grams in our pint jars Six grams of caro. That seems to be the sweet spot. Oop. A little much there. See, it's quite all right. Alright, let's get it just a tad bit out of here. Okay, three tenths over. Oh, no, nope, perfect. There we are at six. And we will tear that. And we are going to add a half gram of light malt extract. So just, a, just a half gram of light malt extract. Don't need very much. Okay, there's our half gram. Our 100th over. That is alright. Uh oh, kind of jumping around, but there we go. Alright, it's just because we're moving here. There we are. So, a half a gram of that. And then we are going to add a half gram of peptone. Now you can get this on Amazon. I like to use the bacteriological peptone. Um, I've seen people use the soy peptone and such like that, but I use the bacteriological. And just a half gram of that. Half a gram. Yeah, it's just because I'm moving around here. My scale's not in an awesome spot. Yep. So that'll be just fine. Half a gram. Can we get it to jump? Yeah, almost. And I will put the measurements in the uh, comments just so that you've got them. And it is that simple but after playing around with this recipe for quite some time that seems to be the ultimate it's super clear and I, the mycelium just thrives man and I do not vent my lids either it takes them a little longer to um, mature but it is well worth it on how they 
how they mature. And so that is it on our updated liquid culture recipe. Uh, and we are going to add 400 milliliters of water. Very important. I almost forgot about that. Sorry, guys. 400 milliliters of water in our jar. And if you're going to do a quart jar, you just double these measurements and add 800 milliliters of water to your quart jars. Simple as that, you guys. And we steam, or I mean, we're going to pressure cook these at 15 psi. I like to do them for 40 minutes. 40 minutes at 15 psi, and they will come out clear as can be, and you guys will not be disappointed, I promise. Make sure to like and subscribe, tell your friends. More videos to come, you guys. I will post them as soon as I make them. Alright, well, much love. You guys be safe out there. Until next time.